Today's tutorial in MuseScore is how to add a tempo to a score. You see I have a short 8 bar melody here and we're going to add a tempo and I'm going to show you four different ways to do it. So to begin with we're going to use the menu. Across the top of your screen we go to add text and you scroll all the way to the bottom to add a tempo marking. You'll see at the same time the keyboard shortcut is Alt and Shift and the letter T. So let's click here. You will expect a prompt. This prompt tells you that at this point in time you have not selected a place for the tempo to go. It says no note or rest has been selected. Please select a note or rest and retry. So to add a tempo you have to let the score know where you want it to be added. And our tempo, as usual, goes at the beginning above bar 1. So this is where we're going to place it. So we select our very first note. And then just by clicking on it, then we go add text tempo marking. And you'll see there that we've been given a metronome marking. You can also add tempo in here. You can then click and drag it wherever you want it to be positioned. And the piece will now play back at that tempo. So what I'm going to do now is to delete that so we can have a look at a different way to add a tempo. We saw the keyboard shortcut before was using Shift, Alt and T. Again when you just click those without selecting a note first you'll be given the prompt box. So again we select Shift, Alt, T and we come up with the same Type a different word in here and let's hear what this sounds like. The third way to add tempo to a score is to use the palette. The palette is on the left hand side of your screen and we're going to go to the palette described as tempo. Now you can see there is some terms there and there is some metronome markings and there is a more. When you select more and scroll through the list you will see that there's a lot more options. The instructions at the bottom here say drag items to the palette or directly onto your score. So let's say we want this piece of music to be a little bit lively and fast but not too much so we'll just go Allegretto. Click and drag and you see that you have this red circle with a line through it and you want to put it up there but it won't click and drag nothing seems to be happening. Well you actually have to click and drag it exactly to the note that you want it. You'll see when you get it on the note that the cursor changes to your little pointer and you let go and that's where the term comes across and you now have a tempo text. Let's hear this one. That's a much better speed for this particular piece of music. Let's see that again. Okay. Tempo text. More. Let's go for Vivace, which is quite fast. Drag it across and you've got to make sure that mouse pointer comes exactly onto the note you want. Let go and that's where you'll see your text. You can click and reposition the text to drag it and then you'll find this one is much faster. The final way to add is to still use our palette but we need to select a note first. So we select our note by clicking on it 
and then you go over to your palette and you find the term you want and this time you double click it and it appears no dragging required but you do have to have your notes selected first so if we wanted it to start slow and change tempo later when the key changes at the end here back into out of the minor key into the major key we might want it to be faster so you can again select a note and double click and this is what that might sound like And there you have how to add a tempo to a score. The next thing we want to do is actually figure out how we can edit our tempo. So you can click and delete, click and delete. Or you might want to have a tempo text and a metronome marking together. So if we drag this across onto our And we change the tempo here to 100, oh, not 1000, 100. You can double click and you can write a word in there. That's one way of editing your text. Another way is to edit the element. You right click on the tempo and you select edit element. And on the right hand side here, you can see your inspector open, which allows you to edit your element. It allows you to change your text, your font style, your font size, how you want it displayed. Whether you want the tempo to follow the text that's written or whether you want it to be above or below the stave, all of those options are available in the inspector for later if you want to edit. But for now we're going to leave this at moderato crotchet equals 100. And there you have how to add tempo to your score. Make sure you save before you close.